It's early Saturday morning, and Amishmen and their English neighbors are beginning to arrive. Most of the Amishmen that will be working on this barn have little or no carpentry experience. Many a youngster looks forward to the excitement that they know this day will hold. For the Amish community, the opportunity to come together to help a fellow Amishman in a time of need or urgency takes precedent over virtually anything else. By 7.15 a.m. enough workers have arrived that they can begin lifting the first walls into place. The Amish have a highly organized sense of charity and sharing, and while not always perceptible from the outside, it truly sets them apart more than any other feature of their unique lifestyle. The Amish do not believe in taking out private insurance plans. Instead, they pay into their own church aid fund called Amish aid. Plus, they freely offer their time and labor as payment when a needful circumstance such as this arises. Building this huge timbered barn requires much more manpower than any ordinary farm ever has available. So when the time came to raise your barn you called on friends and neighbors from miles around. The entire families would show up for the day's event. The women would prepare such large varieties of food it was like a holiday meal. And children would have an opportunity to establish new friendships and play all day long. While keeping the first side wall frame balanced, they need to nudge it over enough to fall into place. Watch closely here as you see it drop into place. There, it's in. Now they secure it and they can begin raising the next side wall frame. The major framework of this barn is put together with 6 by 8 inch oak beams locked together with wooden pegs. The strength of these wooden pegs so tightly locks the structure together that virtually nothing can cause it to come apart.
Arrivals will continue throughout the morning, most in horse-drawn buggies, many on foot, and some come on bicycles. <laughs>